It's time for Donkey of the Day. It's a read, <laughs> but you're so good at it. You're trying to be a fake ass Charlemagne. There's only one Charlemagne to God. Damn, Charlemagne. Who you giving Donkey of the Day to now? Yeah, it's Donkey of the Day for Monday, March 25th. Goes to Taylor Preparatory High School in Detroit. Salute to everyone who listens to us on WJLB in Detroit. Drop one of the clues bombs for the D. Uh, Detroit, we have a small problem this morning. See, there's a history teacher named Dominique Brown. And if you ask me, there is an injustice that happened to Dominique because Dominique Brown was let go from her job at Taylor Preparatory High School. Yes, let go, fired, terminated, discharged, all because they didn't like her side hustle. All because teachers are so underpaid in this country that a lot of them have to try to find other sources of incomes or other careers, okay? Trust me, my mother was an English teacher in South Carolina. And I've said on this radio, public school teachers are disgustingly underpaid, all right? The humans that we entrust with our most prized possessions, our children, are barely getting by. There was a survey done by NEA.org that found teachers work more hours per week than other working adults. Yes, an estimated 53 hours per week, seven more hours than the average working adult. And teachers, no surprise here, report much less satisfaction with their base pay than other working adults. And 25% of their work is uncompensated. Did you hear what I just said? 25% of all the work teachers do is uncompensated. And 66% say their base salary is is inadequate compared with 39% of working adults. Okay, it's terrible, horrible. For what teachers mean to us in our communities, it's actually kind of criminal. So when you have teachers like Dominique who clearly love what they do because they're really... You know, there really is no other reason to be a teacher other than the love. Because you know you're going to be overworked and underpaid. So if Dominique wants to have a side hustle, God bless her. I know what you're thinking, Uncle Shala. What you saying sounds good. But before I agree, what is her side hustle? Well, let's go to WTAE Detroit for the report, please. Dominique Brown, whose rap name is Drippin' Honey, has been an educator (laughs) for seven years and started teaching history at Taylor Preparatory High School in August. But all that came to an abrupt end months later, after she says a parent came across one of her rap videos. The first meeting that I had was like the principal and the dean. They had told me that the parent wished to stay anonymous and she felt as if she didn't like my rap career and that I was a bad influence on the kids because I rap. She says she was fired in February because she's a rapper. Before the firing, around Thanksgiving, she says there were meetings and an ultimatum. My mind and my heart was telling me two things. I'm just, I couldn't see myself like giving up my other passion just because somebody didn't like it. Mm. And they said erase all your content. That was the ultimatum, erase all your content. I'm just like, respectfully, I can't do that. Brown acknowledges the profanity in her lyrics, but she says that has nothing to do with Taylor Prep and the positive impact she's had on her students and the community. In February, on her last day, she created a music video with her students that has since gone viral. Christina Lynn says her son, an 11th grader, started a petition in support of Miss Brown, gathering over 200 student signatures. Dropping the clues bombs for Dominique Brown, a.k.a. Drippin' Honey. Drippin' Honey! Fired because of an anonymous, hating ass parent complaining, saying she's a bad influence on her students because she's a rapper. How you feel like that in Detroit? Home of some of the most influential people ever to pick up a microphone. There's nothing but a bunch of rapidy, rap-ass Negroes and Caucasians in Detroit. Okay, people in Detroit start rapping soon as they come out the womb. Soon as they get smacked on the ass by the doctor. They don't cry, they start spitting bars. I don't even know where to start. Trick Trick, Icewear Vezo, Sada Baby, Babyface Ray, 42 Doug, Cash Doll, Royce the 5'9", Deja Loaf, D12, Danny Brown, Obi Trice, Big Sean. Oh, they got this one guy who's considered by many one of the greatest of all time. He's not on my personal list, but objectively speaking, you can't deny his place in hip-hop culture. Marshall Matters, Mm -hmm. huh? Does that name ring a bell? What I'm telling you is rapping in Detroit is like breathing, okay? And being from Detroit, there's a lot of other side hustles she could be doing that could be considered a bad influence. But rap ain't one of them, yo. Now, she got a record. Okay, you heard them talk about it in the news report. I saw, uh, I watched it on YouTube. It's called Drippin' 101. And in the video, she has some of her students you know, actually in the video, in the description of the video, it says Drippin' 101 featuring the best students in the world. You like to hear it? Here it go. All I hear is a positive anthem, Mm -hmm. okay? A positive anthem, okay, encouraging young ladies not to be HOEs, okay? I don't (laughs) know how old Dominique Brown is, but she doesn't look old. And this is the first time probably ever in the history of life that the age demographic between adults and kids is really 
non-existent. And what I mean by that is the stuff we was raised on in the 1900s and early 2000s really ain't no different from, you know, what these kids is on now. It's the same type of content, okay? Argue amongst yourselves. We try to act like our generation was so much better. They might have been talent-wise, but the content is the same. Okay, how is a generation raised off NWA, Uncle Luke, Lil' Kim, 3-6 Mafia, and Eminem going to judge anybody? Okay, as long as that woman is doing what she's supposed to be doing in that classroom and her kids are learning and passing, if she wants to rap in her spare time, let her. And I bet you all of those kids trust her more than they trust any other teacher in the school because she speaks their language. Okay, how about this? Instead of stopping teachers' side hustles, how about improving pay? Because a lot of teachers are getting out of the teaching business and a lot of teachers aren't looking to, a lot of people aren't even looking to get into the teaching business. So if you want to recruit and retain educators, get their money up. But not only that, improve the number of hours worked and their overall working conditions. That's how you're going to keep teachers wanting to be teachers. And in the meantime, you shouldn't try to stop them from rapping to potentially find a career to make ends meet. You should be ashamed that they have to attempt to rap to find a career to make ends meet because you not paying them enough as a teacher. Please give preparatory high school in Detroit the biggest see huh? What y'all's giggling at? <laughs> yeah, nothing. What y'all looking at her? Yeah. It's going through our videos. Yeah. Well, she got a bunch of them. I only saw one. Yeah. Yeah. What else she got? <laughs> I saw dripping one hundred and one. Which one what else you she saw? Got? Oh, no. Dripping one hundred and one. Okay. There was there was Iga O. Yeah. Then there was was the um. I'm talking about getting it. Is that her? I don't think that's her. That's bro. her! That's dripping honey, baby. That's dripping honey. That's Miss Honey. No. Yes, it no. is. Yeah, yes, it that's is. Babe. Yes, it is. How you spell dripping? D R I P P I N space yes. honey. That is dripping honey. I'm throwing that donkey in a circle. I'm throwing that donkey oh, in no, a circle. No, no, no. She got it, but you know, yeah. As a person who used to be a student, okay. Oh lord. We like the teachers that got that back there. Uh, uh, <laughs> who uh, wouldn't uh, take uh, that uh, class? Uh, that, I mean, you ain't got no choice because it's public school. But <laughs> I can remember a teacher right now who had a donk at Berkeley Middle School. And you was all in that class. We was there every day on time. Right, she, she Last was, one to leave. Was she, she was also a very nice person though. Right. I don't want to say her name. Yeah. But. Well, I mean, you wasn't saying nothing about it. We were just saying yeah, 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 yeah. while you was preaching, <laughs> she over here throwing it, <laughs> throwing it back in a circle. <laughs> Climbing up the wall. <laughs> <and> hey, <laughs> she doing okay. what her student is doing. Uh, okay. All right. What, what, uh, what, this middle high, what is it? The name of the song is called Nigga No. Hold up. But that's another song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to hear what that is. <laughs> what is I got to hear that for? Wait, so this is elementary school you said? They just said the preparatory school. Preparatory school. I mean, oh, the kids, the, they, well, then it's high school. It might be high school. Yeah, the kids look older, you know what I mean? Because I went to a college preparatory school. That was high school. So, if yeah. I'm being honest, some of the kids in the video look older than her. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, but then it's they're... Detroit, so I don't hold it against them. It's, it's right. more than likely a high yeah. school. Okay, They, they grew up rough out there. They Jesus. grew up rough. They grow up rough out crazy. there. All right, well... Dripping Honey. Dripping Honey 313. Go follow her on YouTube. She only got 3,000... Subscribers, like a little mm -hmm. over, a little over three thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. Go follow her on YouTube because she don't have a job right now. Okay. Yes. She's gonna right. have she, she gonna have plenty of offers <laughs> <laughs> by the end of this show. So that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dripping one, dripping one on one got ninety four thousand views. Hey. That's the biggest one. Yeah. And then nigga no got ten thousand. Yeah, nigga no got ten thousand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the uh, she got one called No Cheat Code. Then mm. No Cheat Code. Then the dripping hump, the rumors freestyle. That's the one that uh. That's yeah. what we're talking about. Well, let me yeah. go ahead and just go down this dripping honey rabbit hole real quick. Mm -hmm. Then there's the the let's go to the beach swimsuit mm -hmm. edition. Salute <laughs> to you, dripping honey. Yeah, shout out to no. dripping honey. It's disgusting what they do to public uh, public school teachers Absolutely. out here in these streets. After not paying. overworked and underpaid. Donkey today is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to michaelthebull.com. That's michaelthebull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.